Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to create a photo slideshow in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve, and we're gonna create a photo slideshow. First off, you're gonna need to import some photo here in your media pool. So you can just right click on your media pool, go down to import media, and then just locate the folder of picture that you would like to import. So here I have photos, and I'm just gonna select all the photo that is in the folder and just import that in DaVinci. So now we have everything in the media pool, we can start working on it. We're gonna select all our picture and we're gonna drag them in our timeline. By default, the length of each picture is five seconds, but you can modify that by going here in DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, then User, Editing, and here you have the possibility in Standard Sealed Duration to switch it from 10 seconds, 15 seconds, three seconds, whatever you may want that duration to be. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it at five seconds. And the first thing is I'm gonna want to resize those images and I'm gonna want to add a background. So I'm gonna select everything, leave that to the second track. And here I'm gonna bring a solid color as a background. We're gonna first use a white background. Then I'm gonna show you how to use a pre-animated background. And after I'm gonna show you a third way to do a background for your photo slideshow. But for now, we're just gonna bring a solid color in the timeline. Then we can go over to generator and here we're going to change the color for white and now as you can see we have a white background now we're going to need to resize our picture so we're going to select all the picture and here we're going to reduce the size a little bit around 90 like this you can easily adjust any other parameter here in the inspector and as long as you have all the pictures selected it will affect all the picture uh, that you have in the timeline now i'm going to want to add a drop shadow to my image so i'm going to go down to open effects and here look for drop so here drop shadow we add that drop shadow, we can make some modification then in effect, maybe uh, add more strength to the shadow and uh, make some modification maybe to the size. So here, if we want to reduce it a little bit, for example, you could do all that on one image, but as you can see now, it doesn't affect the other images. And then once you're done with that first image, you can just copy this image, use whatever shortcut uh, for Windows or for Mac. So for Mac, it's Command C, then select all the other picture and use Option v on mac and alt v on windows and it will open that base attribute window which tells you that right now you're trying to copy all the effect available on this clip and you try to apply it on all those clip then you can just see here which attribute we're trying to copy and paste so here in that case that's plugin which is the open effects that we apply so it's all good and now we can just click apply so that will be for a classic slideshow now we don't have any transition here between each clip so we could change that by here going to video transition and add a specific transition if we would like to uh, a transition that works pretty well in my opinion is here if you scroll down you could use the slide down slide left slide right and slide up transition that in my opinion work very well so here i would select all the picture and here I will go to the transition that I want. Here, for example, I'm gonna use slide left. I'm gonna right click on it and add to selected edit points and clips. And as you can see, I apply the transition to each picture in the timeline. So now if we play it, we have a nice transition that helps us to move from one picture to another. So that will be for a very classic, simple photo slideshow. You can obviously change that for any uh, transition that you would like and if you like to level up maybe that background we can try that right now by using another pre-animated background so here i'm just gonna delete that solid color background and we're gonna go down to generator and here i'm gonna bring the noise gradient i'm just gonna extend it to the length of my picture so right now as you can see this background is pre-animated uh, it's for now white and black but we could technically change the color to each one of those picture so you have a background that match the vibe of the picture that you're presenting so right now you could just plot your playhead between two picture and then just make a cut and you can just make a cut every time the picture is changing and then go above for example here the first picture select the noise gradient and here we're just gonna select the first color in our gradient change the color take the color picker and take one of the color that is uh, the most represented in that picture click ok and then select the second point of the gradient and then here we can just do the same thing for the uh, next most represented color in that picture so here there will be uh, something like green 
Here we go. And now if we play it, as you can see, we have a pre-animated background that display similar color to the picture that is displayed on the screen. So that's something that match and that works pretty well in my opinion. The third background option here would be to use another effect in OpenFX. So here we're gonna remove the noise gradient and we're gonna go to OpenFX and we're gonna search for fill and we're gonna use the blanking fill effect. So let's just take it and drag it on one of all picture. Now, as you can see, it basically take the picture display on the screen and put it in the background with a blur. So right now, only problem that may come with this method is that here you're losing a bit the picture uh, with the background and it's uh, not very easy to read in my opinion. So if you want to use that method, I will recommend to use some border to your picture. So to do that, we will have to go over to Fusion because there is a color border effect here available in effect in the edit page. But the problem is it's gonna affect the entire viewer and not only the picture. So we're gonna have to go over to Fusion and apply that effect from Fusion. So we're just gonna go down to templates and here search for color. And we're gonna bring the color border here between the media in and the media out. Now we're gonna copy and paste it on all or other picture. In case you don't have all the clip laying down here in Fusion, you can just toggle that in on and off from there above. Right now I'm just gonna copy my first picture, then I'm just gonna click on the next one and then hold the shift and click on the last one to select all the picture. And then I'm just gonna paste them using common V on Mac to uh, paste it on all the other picture. Now, if we go back to the edit page and we go back to all first picture, we can see that it didn't affect properly our frame. So that's due to the fill blanking. We're just gonna have to do a quick modification here in effect in the inspector. We're gonna go down to blanking fill and here in source, we're just gonna bring the crop down to zero. For some reason, it just uh, bring the crop at 0.5 and create that uh, weird thing where it's just on the bottom and the top and not on the side. We also have the frame in the background. We don't want that. And to change that, we can just go down to fill extend, zoom mode, and here we're just gonna do manual. And here, as you can see, we got rid of that problem. You can also extend the size of the background picture. I usually find it's a good thing to do because it just blend all the color together and you see less and less detail in the background and it's not as distracting uh, than if you can see you know more detail like this I, I rather zoom in quite a lot in the image and then once again you can just select the picture and copy the setting with command c and then select the other picture and just paste it with option v on mac and alt v on windows let's apply it all right that's pretty much it now you know three methods to do photo slideshow in davinci resolve i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates but only for davinci resolve get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com